I'd very much like to introduce you to my favourite no bicycling sign. This is the no bicycling sign that I look at every time I don't go bicycling. I'd very, very much like to introduce you to the National Lottery sign, which is the sign for the National Lottery that I never play because it's too expensive and my dreams revolve around things other than money. I'd very, very much like to introduce you to the loading only sign, which is completely irrelevant to me since I only load before 8am and after 6pm in the evenings. I'd very, very much like to introduce you to the 30 mile an hour speed limit sign, which everybody completely ignores because it's such a ridiculously low speed to travel upon such a safe and expansive stretch of roadway. I would very, very much like to introduce you to the wideness warning of 6 foot 6 inches, which is marvellous for me, since I will be travelling upon this stretch of roadway upon my bicycle. I'd very, very much like to introduce you to the neighbourhood watch sign, which is the sign that indicates that people around here spy on each other and that any foul play is immediately reported to the police. I'd very much like to introduce you to the speed camera warning sign, which is the sign that indicates that there are speed cameras upon this stretch of road, when in actual fact there aren't any for about 16 miles in either direction. I'd very, very much like to introduce you to the No Dogs Allowed sign, which is the No Dogs Allowed sign that I completely ignore when I do not go for a walk with the dog that I do not have. I'd very, very much like to introduce you to the welcome sign for the town of Hastings, which proudly pronounces that it is the birthplace of television and also that the town centre has cameras in operation 24 hours a day. OK, everybody, OK, everybody just keep completely calm. There's no need to panic at all because I, Mr Peaky, I've got the SK-1 spill kit. So if anybody spills anything, I can handle it. I'd very, very much like to introduce you to the customer car park sign, which informs us that the maximum stay here is seven days. So if you're looking for somewhere pleasant to have a week's holiday, I highly recommend this multi-storey car park. I'd very, very much like to introduce you to yet another vital sign. This sign is vitally important because if you forget to pick up your doggy's poo-poo, you risk a maximum penalty of £1,000, which is an awful lot of money. Once again, I'd very, very much like to introduce you to a vital sign. This sign is vital because if you're a cyclist and you don't dismount exactly here, then you're going to have to stay on your bicycle forever and ever. It's terrible. Well, I actually believe that this vital sign speaks for itself. Yeah, I do, mate. I'm vitally important. I'm Australian, you see, and you've got to keep a clear distance from the bicycles if you're in a car. <laughs>